Hello, welcome to Property Express News, brought to you by PE Life and sponsored by Lemonade Finance, your surest way of sending money from abroad to Ghana and the Property Express magazine, Africa's leading real estate publication. Now, the newest edition of the Property Express magazine is out, so kindly visit our website www.propertyexpress.org for your copy or you can visit any leading retail supermarket here in Ghana for your copy. Now in the headlines, Ghana Geological Survey Authority pushing for a national geological survey to be required as part of the application for a building permit. The president of real estate firm Casa Bazaar has urged the government to lower taxes on building materials and in international news shares of India Bulls real estate has plunged nearly 20%. My name is Nanaya Ochirebia, now the news in details. Ghana Geological Survey Authority pushing for a national geological survey to be required as part of the application for a building permit. The Ghana Geological Survey Authority is pushing for a national geological survey to be required as part of the application for a building permit. This follows the recent collapse of three buildings in the country. It is also recommending strong cooperation with metropolitan local governments and regional assemblies to implement this mandate, especially for public buildings and high-rise buildings before construction. GGSA Director General Mr. Isaac Kuwan Wimbele, who interacted with stakeholders in Kumasi during a sensitization program, said the aim was to ensure the safety of the structures and residents. Mr. Wimbele said the involvement of the geological survey right from the start of the building permit process would help installers and contractors guide the preventive measures to avoid disaster depending on the nature of the land. Meanwhile, the Ghana National Fire Service, GNFS, has disclosed that the three-story building collapsed in Nanakrum after a concrete mixture collided with one of the building's pillars, causing the building to lose balance. According to reports, the collapse of the three-story building, which was an extension, affected parts of the originally completed one-story land. It also pushed down parts of the property's left-hand fence. According to an eyewitness, the platforms installed to assist the construction work of the structures collapsed last Thursday afternoon, a few minutes before the building itself collapsed, and one co-worker managed to escape, although he was injured. The Technical Council of Ghana has launched a full investigation to ascertain the cause of the collapse of the unfinished building after initial investigations revealed that the owner expanded the approved two-story building on the dark side of the Adentan Municipal Council. A team of experienced engineers has already been formed to carry out detailed investigations, assessing the integrity of the foundation, concrete, and reinforcement of the damaged structure. The council under the Ministry of Works and Housing ordered that the site be set aside so as not to disturb the composition of the debris at the site, facilitating the smoothness and efficiency of the investigation. The results of the investigation would be presented Presented to the Parliament to determine the necessary sanctions. Mr. Wise Amitefe, the Judicial Secretary of the Council, stated in an interview that the Ghana Planning Council has already started preliminary investigation into the case. He said a council team found during an investigation that a building was approved for two stories, but the owner extended it to three stories without notifying the council. Still in news, the president of the real estate firm Casa Bazaar has urged the government to lower taxes on building materials. Mr. John William Edel, the president of the real estate firm Casa Bazaar, has urged the government to lower taxes on building materials so that participants in the real estate industry can offer the general public affordable homes. At the official opening of the business's operations in Accra, Mr. Edel stated that it was equally crucial for the government to implement 
government regulations and other measures that would allow financial institutions to offer less expensive credit facilities to businesses, including the real estate industry. According to Mr. Edo, the cost of doing business in the nation is currently very high, which has a negative impact on many enterprises and makes it challenging for them to survive. To encourage banks to extend additional credit, the government must also provide support, he added. Please stay with us as we go for a short break with we'll Variety Bag. The Ghana Housing Show 2023 is here. Ghana Property Awards and the Africa Property Magazine in conjunction with UK Partners. Eddie Nimdia Fue Dia Dancy Mwakotene. Mature outstanding real estate developers, brokers, and professionals. Eba, the second edition of the Ghana Housing Show 2023. Jumedia Ibaso on the 23rd and 24th of June at Wembley Stadium, the suite. The exhibition is on the 23rd of June and at the Diaspora Property Awards and Dinner Night. Air Trasso on the 24th of June from 7 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Minister for Works and House and Honorable Asensu Buache and the Ghana High Commissioner to UK, His Excellency Papa Ousu Ankuma, a special guest of honor for this event. Sansuna Oswafo, the Ghana Real Estate Development Association, Greta Orua Patrick Bonfo, a Bejumed Yassibi, Mr. Tourism, Abeku Santana, is the MC for the occasion. Any developer, contractor, broker, or estate agent of free Ghana ever register for Jumedia using the website www.ghanapropertyawards.com forward slash diaspora.2023 or send an email to info at ghanapropertyawards.com for registration link. Kaya Tors, a official travel consultant for Obibia of free Ghana, Eba Jumedia UK. For a rainbow radio for the awards and dinner night tickets, or visit eventbrite.co.uk and search for the Ghana Housing Show 2023. Jumedie open Hunchima Freddy's numbers 050 or UK Fred plus 44 740 471 or 020 Email info at Ghana The Ghana Property Show is brought to you by Sukasa Properties, powered by Adum Group with support from Manet Group. Ewalls Realty and Consultancy, Rehoboth Properties, Nala, Gulf City Development Limited, Lemonade Finance, Adum City Estates, and Ace Heights Limited. Exclusive media partners Rainbow Radio 92.4 FM UK and 87.5 FM in Ghana. Some Ghana or any part in the UK don't miss this exciting opportunity to network and step into property prosperity at the Ghana Housing Show 2023. Welcome back from the break now. In international news, shares of Indian Boost real estate plunged nearly 20% in Tuesday's trade after the company announced that the merger of Nam Estates Private Limited and Embassy One into the company have been withheld by the Cadbury bench of the National Company Law Tribunal. India Boost said the merger is already sanctioned by the NCLT, which has jurisdiction over the Nam Estates and Embassy One. The merger has already received support from almost all its shareholders who voted on the same and has also received approval from other regulators. India Boost Real Estate first announced its proposed measure with the entities of the Embassy Group in January 2020. The merger is a via cashless structure where Nam Estate and Embassy One Commercial Property Developments, the two subsidiaries of Embassy Group, will swap shares with Ibero. The resulting combined entity is to be named Embassy Development. Embassy Group will become the promoter of the merged entity. That's all for news. Thank you for staying with us. And a very big thank you to Lemonade Finance and the Property Express magazine for sponsoring. For more news, kindly visit our website, www.propertyexpress.org. You can also follow us on social media. We are on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter at Property Express. This has been PE Live. My name is Nanaya Otrebia. Have a good day.